All right, welcome to my video. It's a 23 Tundra SR5. We tow a lot of race cars with it. So I want to put some helper spring bags in. So I got this kit from Firestone. Four one six four. It's for Toyota SUVs, and since this Tundra has a coil spring, instead of your standard truck suspension, this is similar to what the Sequoia has. So yeah, I'm gonna put these on. So here's the unboxing. Got some directions. Got some lines. Got a cool airbag. One for each side. Some zip ties and some fittings. Let's get started. All right, I just finished putting this kit on my 2023 Tundra. There's the number. So here's all the tools I used. I'll put this at the beginning of the video so you know what you need. Impact to get the wheels off and for the lower uh, shock mount, that's gonna be a 17 as well as the sway bar. This is my 21 and my socket key for the wheels. Uh, 17, this helps get the sway bar off as well. Uh, this 12 will get the brake line bracket removed. This is to trim your hoses for the airbags. Uh, this is to make sure the hoses are tucked nicely and secure. You get six of them with the kit, but I used a couple extra. Uh, drill bit about that big to put the inlet for the air sticking through over by the license plate to pump it up. A jack to put on each side to teeter-totter the axle assembly to do one side at a time. Your other jack stands on blocks of some kind to hold the frame of the truck. And then of course your jack to lift and lower the axle assembly. All right, first you're gonna jack up the truck by the diff, get the whole truck off the ground. Then you're gonna support the frame as high as you can. So then that way when you take the wheels and tires off and the frame supported, you can drop the diff assembly down. So now you can get the springs in and out. So now we got to disconnect the shock to allow the axle to drop further and also disconnect the sway bar to allow one side to pivot from the other side to get the springs in and out. So while supporting one side, you can lower it down and drop the other side and it'll tilt. And that'll give you lots of room on this side and then you'll do, put the jack stand on this side and lower that side to give you lots of room on that side. The other thing you gotta undo is this bolt here, just so you don't overstretch this. So once you do that, this spring gets nice and loose and this just pops out. Now the airbag will slide in there and the line will go right up through there. So here's what it looks like with the bag set in one side. You can see it just sits on the bottom perch there, no problem. The front there's just, or the top there's just some space there because I have it at full droop here. Once you put the weight of the truck on, that'll close that gap. Uh, if you reach up here, you can see you just slide the hose down through there, through that hole and just plugs into the top of the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna drill my hole and then run the line and then snip it so that way I know I have enough to run this line and then snip that. So in order to avoid this sharp edge here on this bucket, poking a hole in here, you gotta take the original bump stop and cut it and then slide this back up inside there so that way you'll have a nice flat surface up against the new airbag. All right, I got the bags in. Just got to reconnect the shock, reconnect the sway bar, and reconnect the brake line. And then these were just done for mock-up. So now I got to take this nut off, make sure I get the washers on there, probably put some tape or Loctite on there so they don't come loose. And yeah, it'll be wrapped up. Be ready to tow. All right, you can see I got a lot of extra wheel gap here. Uh, it's about 30 pounds in the airbags. 
there they are are all aired up and uh yeah, it's stiff, obviously, but thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully it helped you guys. Uh, they don't really make a specific kit for the 22-23 Tundra yet. You either got to buy the separate uh, bag with the brackets against the frame rails. Um, since it's more of an SUV style suspension, like the Sequoia was, the previous gen, uh, these bags work just fine, just like they did on the Sequoia. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Looks nice and clean. Got a nozzle for each side. And um, yeah, I would say it's very easy install. If you have any basic experience to change your oil and rotate your tires, this should be just fine. Um, total time, I would say maximum two hours uh, in and out. So pretty easy. The kit I paid 140 bucks local. Uh, you can get them online anywhere from 110 to 160 bucks, and yeah, can't beat it really.